Ha! Huh. We're back. Oh shit! And we failed again. Back fast. <laughs> yeah, we're back in person though, which is cool. Uh, after last month's digital podcast, which was a pretty good episode. It was a good episode. Yeah, go listen to it if you haven't. My goal is to be <clears throat> way more active podcast wise because last month I feel like by the end of that month it's like do I what else do I do with my life like what's happening like yeah last month took us by surprise I think with just the amount of shit that happened yeah, if you like to hear sure. about it go watch the previous episode but luckily I don't know if it's been the same for you but for me this month has felt a little bit more manageable so far so far knock on wood but so this is my first weekend in four to five weekends where there isn't like a concrete thing happening. All right. So that feels great because I need. So you that. won't be playing any games either way though, right? Of course not. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> what type of show do you think this is? Oh man. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm, I'm definitely going to try to, I definitely want to play um animal. Well, mm-hmm. that's, uh, that's on the list for me. There's also another game that I doubt mini shoot adventures. Have you heard of this? I haven't, but I saw, I think it was in the screenshot when you were downloading Hades 2. It was the second game over. I'm like, what the fuck is that? It is a, they said it's a twin stick shooter mixed with Zelda, which is a crazy combination of genres. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. But they said, I keep hearing great things about it, so I got it. Nice. I, I do love the, like, the library that you have of games. And then you get no time to play them. It is it's very funny because one day oh, you be will on. be free and you will not know what to do. I know. I know. And it's a very diverse group of games. Like it's yeah. a lot of retro inspired, obviously, because me games. But then it's like shit I never played that I need to play. Like it's all these like uh Hades 2, obviously. Then like Mega Man type game, another platformer like Metroidvania. Yeah. Then it's like, then it's like Elden Ring. <laughs> then, <laughs> then all these other games, like it's all over the place. For sure. I feel like this month, like we were just discussing it prior to the podcast, but both of us are in a state of gaming where we don't want to commit to anything. If that makes sense, just it, because it doesn't feel right. And not, not even like it doesn't feel right. I just lately I just don't have that like I don't want to do any like I said before I don't want to do any heavy lifting like I don't want like like I would hate for something like a last of us type game to come out now I'm like now I gotta sit through this I'm I'm not in the mood but like for that I would be like I'll get in the mood and play this game but like (laughs) perfect example like this has been sitting here since I introduced it on the show. It has not moved. I have not touched this thing. Damn. <laughs> um, still haven't gone and played uh, Re- Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I just don't feel like it. That's valid. I feel that. I, it, it's weird, man. We're in this weird in-between time where it doesn't feel like there's much going on, but there's a ton going on. There's a lot happening in the yeah. industry. Which we'll touch on in the news section this yes. week. And it's a lot, so we'll have to. Uh, we probably should have done some like research and gotten articles and stuff in theory. I mean, there's a lot that happened. We'll we'll go over it before the news starts. Yeah, man, it's been it's been a time. Do we just want to get straight into it and like make this a seamless intro and we just go straight to the games? No bullshit. Why not? Let's do it. Let's talk about bullshit for another ten minutes. What are your thoughts on <laughs> crayon? No bullshit. Let's talk about bullshit. <laughs> crayons. Listen, man. Crayons have been a reliable source of art since forever. I don't know when crayons. When have, when did crayons come out? I don't know. We should go to the Crayola factory and make a video there. That'd be funny. <laughs> Two grown ass men in the Crayola factory. By the end of it. People are just waiting for somehow games to get integrated into that video, and it never does. No. Comments just like, you didn't play any games. Yeah, we like, wanted to make a crayon with our name on it. That's right. all we want. There you go. Sometimes we're people, too. Crayon people. Crayon people. Start the episode. <laughs>
Level up. And welcome back, gamers, to another episode of the Save Before Quitting Podcast. As always, I'm joined by my lovely co-host. And it's me, and I'm here. And he's here, and I'm Chris. And you can follow us on all social media platforms that matter still on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube. Save the letter B, number four quitting. I did it out of order and ruined the titty timing. The We're not titty timing. The titty great. timing was <laughs> bad. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Never we haven't fuck up the titty timing. That'll be a make or break evening. Solid advice. Moving forward, yeah. you can check out our merch on our website, save before quitting fully spelled out.com. We're going to make new stuff soon. I don't know what that new stuff is. There's a part of me that wants to do. I had this idea and I'm going to pitch it here for you and the people live, mm-hmm. but recorded in front of a not studio audience. Mm-hmm. Gardic phone and like TKO, like those Jackbox type games that are okay. drawings. I say that we play those on stream with the viewers and then we make a t-shirt out of the worst design and put it on our store for a while and whoever's shirt that is they get one for free or something i'm fine with that we would just have to have a good number of people joining us for that yeah, stream. i think there's like maybe five to ten people that can join in with gardic phone and we mm. can do it through Discord, too, so that they have to, like, link their shit if they want to play. I'm not mad at so, that. So, that might be an option for shirts. Uh, other than shirts, you can go on our Patreon, where we give you two extra podcasts a month, except for last month, because we got fucked. Uh, but this month will be much better. Yeah, this month we're going to be doing new stuff. We also are doing a new thing, which we discussed or then forgot about, where you guys get to vote on what we play next. So, we're going to, anybody who's a patron, you can suggest a game. We're going to mm-hmm. spin a wheel. Whoever it lands on, that person gets to pick the game that we're playing. It'll get posted to Patreon before everywhere else, but then you guys, it'll go to the That'll main be fun. public eventually. But you get early access, and you get to pick what we play. That's, so, a good, that's a good one. I know there's at least a solid four people that are going to choose Resident Evil 4. I was about to say that I already kind of know where that's going to go. Yeah. <laughs> so Resident Evil 4 is probably going to be coming down the pipeline soon, but there's other games too. And if you want us mm-hmm. to play other shit, we'll do that. Do you want to force us to play through a Final Fantasy? Sure. Yep. Yeah, we could do that. <laughs> you know, it'd be really funny if we did a Final Fantasy playthrough, but you have to ignore all side objectives, and it's you playing, so it's like torture for you. Oh, because yeah, my OC. You got to check everything. Mm, I have to but check all the boxes, but I can't. Yeah. I think that'd be a good. That'd be funny. That'd be a fun stream, or like you got to play through Mario, no skips, or like. Fine. Any old game. <laughs> oh, oh, so <laughs> what? Don't Sorry. threaten me with I've a good time. Aunt. Oh, my bad. <laughs> it just sounds like another evening for me. You know what I'm saying, to bitch. But other than that, I don't know if there's anything else we shill. Do we? Do we shill anything else? Thank you for all who took part in our last, uh, our oh, last sponsorship. Yeah. We got a new one coming soon. We have to decide which is going to be. Um, it's going to be some sort of mobile game because yes. mobile games are trying to, you know, they really want to be sponsored. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> that'll be coming soon. Keep an eye out for that. This episode might even be sponsored by it by the time that it actually True comes that. out and we might record an ad for it. We'll see. Why not? But other seems like that, the thing to do. I think that it's time to get right into the meat and potatoes of this potato. Potato. Meat and potatoes of this potato. Saying potato. Because <laughs> that's what my brain feels like. <laughs> And yes, what have you played this past month? I played Hades two. I don't know why I blanked out there for a second. Um, I'm playing playing all for it to play it right. You you didn't just play immediately for the alpha. I just I bought it whenever the uh, early access went up. I just bought it. Um, and that is just. It's essentially just more Hades, but it's still just Hades more that 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 uh, that loop to that uh, that addiction to that loop Mm -hmm. is still there. Can I ask a question that is controversial? Mm -hmm. Do you like it better than the first game so far? Do you think they have improved upon the model in a way where this is not only just a good sequel, but it's better so far? So far. The only difference is the story and the characters. Okay. Um, It's not a huge departure from the gameplay. It's so not a huge departure that like, it's hard for me to say what I like more. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I could say this one because 
it's a little flashier. You could tell it's a sequel. Okay. They add a lot of little flourishes and improved um I don't want to say frame rate, but like there's a little a little additions to the graphics. Nothing crazy. It still looks like Hades. Mm-hmm. But you could tell there's a lot of like TLC added to like smooth out the rough they had edges. A budget this time. Yeah. <laughs> you could tell the first one was a hit, and now mm-hmm. the company is like, okay, we'll allocate Here's way money. more money to For this. Sure. <clears throat> but it's still Hades. It's still mm-hmm. go in, get as far as you can, come out, upgrade your shit, go back in. Keep uh, going until you die. Keep going until you die. Come in real life. Uh, um, talk to the characters, get shit from them, go back in, learn, apply what you've learned from the story. Like it's uh, still that same loop, but right. it's just, it's just more, and it's great. Hell yeah, that's awesome. It's fantastic. I don't think I'll play it just because I'm I'm not good at it. Here's the mm-hmm. thing: I objectively love Hades one, but I'm just mm-hmm. not good at that game type. Mm-hmm. Like it's just not me. I can play it but I will not play it and progress. No, I get it. <laughs> so like, my, like I feel bad because my friends want me to play it and one even bought me a copy of the game, ironically. And like, I played it. And I'm like, this is great. I love it. Art style is great. Voice acting is great. Everything's great. I'm bad. Understood. So I'm just going to let everybody else enjoy Hades too. And I'm going to watch from the sidelines and, and, and enjoy their happiness. Understood. Because <clears throat> I'm bad. And that's how I feel about a lot of games as well. So I understand where you're (laughs) coming from. Um, So I've been playing a lot of that. A whole lot of that. And that's honestly all I've been playing as of late. Um, Like I said in the intro, mini shoot adventures. I have that in like my queue. Like I really want to get into that. Mm -hmm. And I have Animal Well. And I really want to jump into that. I think this weekend I'm going to jump into Animal Well. Take a break from Hades, jump in Animal Well. And then a dog's gonna come barking at me like, Ant fell down the well. Yeah, that's if I fell down. That's a boomer ass joke right there. <laughs> Why did I do that? He fell down the well. Yeah. Little Jimmy fell down the well. You gotta go save him. <laughs> God damn. But it, 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 here's the thing, man. I've played Animal Well, surprisingly. Mm-hmm. And I'm not the indie guy. And? It's pretty good, and I'm not. <laughs> Which is <laughs> see, this be... is where we compliment each other because for, yeah. for for those just if this is your first episode, I'm good at a lot of the games that Chris is not really drawn to, and he's great at a lot of the games that I'm not really trying to play either, and that's why this works. That's why yeah, this marriage valid. works. God damn, you want to you want to play Call of Duty this season? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I no, I mean, <laughs> I would. No, not based on your attitude. The best time you played it. No, 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 no. I, I played. Last time I played Call oh, of Duty man. was uh, it's gotta be like World at War or Warzone or something. Probably it was Warzone, but it was what Call of Duty was it? Modern Warfare One, probably right. Or, probably, yeah. Well, the the first reboot of the series I guess. when they first tried to do their battle royale mode it was called what blackout or something like that because yeah. it was part of the one after that well whenever call of poopy is the same every year whenever warzone i think it was modern warfare mm-hmm. and then two came i was playing warzone in that at that yeah. time i got in right when two came out i think well, that's, i got back in i guess I was you might have came in and i was I, then i kind of like went cold yeah. on it. but it, it's a time Speaking of Call of Duty, I've been playing Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. And? I am, if I'm going to be genuinely, I'm getting tired of being the top of my leaderboard when I'm solo queuing mm-hmm. and losing every match that I'm in. I'm Fun. getting really, really tired of it because I don't want to be gold rank anymore because I, I feel like I deserve at least a plat in Call of Duty for me, for my own sanity. So mm-hmm. I've been grinding every day when I'm finished my work. I just go straight to the PC. I get like whatever I have to do for the podcast out of the way, straight into Call of Duty, mm-hmm. straight into a ranked game. Here we go. Right. Yesterday right. I got fucked multiple times because I launched the game. My shaders didn't preload and my graphics card driver was out of date. So yeah, you've I, been having some graphics card shit yeah, yeah, yeah. going on. So well, the, the preloading shaders thing is just a Call of Duty thing that they do because they're bad. Um, but pretty much, I join into a ranked game, and then immediately my game crashes. 
And I'm like, what the fuck? And mm-hmm. I load it back up. It's like, you've been kicked from this ranked game for inactivity because you weren't there. Also, you have a five minute cooldown. You're not allowed to play ranked for five minutes. And I'm like, well, that sucks. Let me let the, the shaders load, right? Right. It takes 30 minutes for the in-game shaders to finally load because yet again, I must reiterate, Call of Duty's a bad game. And then <laughs> I finally, finally finished those pre-shaded la- pre-shader layers, whatever it's called. I finish it. And I'm like, cool, let's go right back into ranked. Mm-hmm. I'm sitting there and I get on my phone and I'm posting the TikTok from Cyberpunk that I yeah. just posted. So I'm posting that, post the TikTok, do the captions. Then I post it to YouTube. And then I post it to Instagram. I'm like, man, that took a long time. And I look up at my screen. I'm still on the loading screen, loading into the, the match. And I'm like, that doesn't make sense. So then out of nowhere, all I hear is, which is the stupid Call of Duty noise for like when mm. you go to a menu. You have been suspended from this match for inactivity. Didn't even get into the level and load it in. You have a 15 minute cooldown from ranked. So I'm like, oh, that's fucking annoying. What yeah, happened? What f- that's when I find out the graphics card's an issue. Update the graphics card, restart my PC, or Gucci. Mm-hmm. Launch the game. By the way, mm-hmm. we gave you an additional 20 minute cooldown, even though you didn't actually leave a game. You didn't pissed even play. Off. I'm pissed. I'm like, I'm fuming as of this point. Yeah. Then I finally load it up again. I get into a game after 20 minutes mm-hmm. and I get kicked Why? for inactivity just because I didn't oh. load in enough yet or in, in, in time, which isn't a me thing because my internet's great. Mm-hmm. My PC is fine now because everything has been sorted. My shaders are preloaded. I got my graphics card. It's just decided to not load me into the level. It wasn't even a thing that anyone could control besides Call of Duty themselves. And they gave me a 45 minute ban from competitive and every single ban that they did, they subtracted some of my SR, my skill rank. So mm-hmm. I just kept losing points that I had earned from the previous. For shit that has nothing to do with you solely. Yes. But then I played with some friends. Uh, luckily, this season, we have two <clears throat> new members joining the forfeits. Both nice. Ryan, oh, brother, shit. and Anna, mm-hmm. Jabraf are taking up so that we never have to do 2v4 again, which is great. Because that was rough every single time Sounds that happened. Like um, but this season, I, I plan to be very good. I that plan to be good. Uh, I have been grinding Call of Duty because I feel like it is my mission, even though it is not solely my mission, to get us another championship win. I don't know why I feel like this Noble is my of mission. But I'm like, you know what? This season, even though we had a lot of ups and downs because of, you know, the actual organization not putting it together well and putting a tier one team and tier two and causing them to just sweep the entire time and making the entire season not fun wow but i digress um but (laughs) this time i don't give a fuck i am getting as good as i fucking can i'm learning all the metas i'm learning the spots to camp i'm learning the spawns i don't give a fuck we are winning that championship next season and taking it back. <clears throat> when does next season start? End of the year? I don't know. <laughs> All right. All right. You heard it here first. He does not know. But. But he's going to kill that shit. I tell you what. I'm going to I'm gonna play well. I swear it. I'm almost at plat. I'm at gold three right now. So I'm one rank away from okay. platinum. Not that that really matters to the actual rankings in this Call of Duty league that I'm in. But I swear the forfeit shall win. Shout out to the forfeits. <laughs> What else is that too? I've played. Uh, oh, I played Cyberpunk, obviously. Of course. Because that's all I do. Um, <clears throat> that's like, my, I was telling you before we started recording, it's like my comfort game now mm-hmm. where I will, if I just want to veg out and just like exist, I will put on like a, a podcast or a YouTube video on my left screen and on my right screen. I'm just playing a new run of Cyberpunk, which I started for no reason because I have every single trophy in the game now for both the regular game and and fan well now you can play with no hangups you could just do all the bullshit and that's what i'm doing without thinking about it i'm doing a big brain run so instead of this time being like oh i'm all sneaky and a ninja and shit which is what i normally end up doing so it's fun Mm -hmm. i am making it so that i'm the best hacker man in cyberpunk (laughs) so like you are the cyberpunk literally i'll walk up to like a situation it's just like a like a little crime on the street and some Mm -hmm. guys getting held up because that'll happen every once in a while 
and I'll just stand there, hold L1, and all my quick hacks show up that mm -hmm. I can just inflict on other people that have cyberware in their head. And I'm just like, okay, so I want that person to explode. I want that person's cyberware to just completely fail on them. <laughs> and then that person, <laughs> I want them to turn their gun on themselves and just end it. And then you just make all that shit happen. I just boop, 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 boop. And I just stand there and it goes, psh, psh, psh. and then, like, <laughs> then it's like the NCPD or thank you for your service. And I'm that's like, awesome. So that's how I'm playing now. It's fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's a that, good time. It's like you don't have to think about shit now. Exactly. You just go out there and fuck around. Exactly. And I'm using guns that I've never used before because like, I like using pistols a lot. So I'm like, I'll exclusively use the pistol. But then now I'm like, oh, I can use shotguns and the mm -hmm. weapons that automatically aim for you and shit. Like, there's mm -hmm. guns where you just shoot. And the bullets fly at an angle and just hit head the whole time. They just exclusively fly towards people's heads. That's and you funny. can just be shooting in the sky mm -hmm. and it'll just be like, pew, 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 and just like doo -doo 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 -doo, into some guy's head. Which they is knew great. that game was a playground and that's oh, dope. Yeah, it's so good. Um, but that's been fun. And then I guess the biggest one that I've been playing, which I streamed, if you haven't seen it, uh, the Backyard Baseball series. I Your started specialty. in 2003. Mm. And the Game Boy version on a uh, stream, but I found a bunch of discs mm -hmm. of PC games that we found the play. treasure trove. Oh, in yeah. Your house. Needless to say, your boy's going to be playing Pajama Sam at some point soon. <laughs> you and hear that, putt, Sam? Putt. I also have um, <laughs> the math. Do you remember back when computers started being a thing in school and there was like those yearly math tests that they would give us? And it was like a booklet with like these little like monkey characters or some shit. No. Shit. Well, there were these little monkey that. characters, and you could get the booklet, but that's what all the people would get if they weren't cool. If you were <laughs> cool and you had a PC at home, you'd get a PC game disc uh -huh. every single year. It was the same fucking game, oh, which is man. the annoying part. They did come up with a sequel, You're not but that was cool like. cool unless you pee your pants. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. uh, but, dude, they're so bad, and it's just math. And I kind of yeah. want to play it on stream. What's it? Is it? What's it called though? It's just like monkey it's, math, like, like math the, with like some extra bullshit at the end of the word math to make it sound cool. You know, like mathonomics or oh, mathology. It's some cringy. bullshit. I remember. Do you? Did you guys play Math Blaster? No. Do you remember Number Munchers? That one sounds goofy. Man, I'm old. That's there are math PC games when I was in school. I'll have to bring it or like take a picture of it, but dude, it was so bad. And but I remember every year we had to do it, and it was like the simple like times tables and shit, nothing mm -hmm. crazy. Yeah. And you were like this little monkey dude that looks kind of similar to the puppet that Jeff Dunham uses. That's the mm -hmm. purple monkey one. And you were on a skateboard. Okay, I definitely didn't play this. Shit. And you were like progressing through the levels by solving math. And he would just be like, whoa, and do like a kickflip or some <laughs> shit. But the body would stay stationary in an A pose. I've never heard and be like, whoa, this. And then the board would flip in its shitty 2D sprite animation. And be like, you did 10 times two. Whoa. And then they would go to the next one. <laughs> just you could going. be making this up and I would never know. Dude, it's <laughs> so bad. I, that's my vague memory of it. But I will play it on stream if it allows me. I know that it, it, it made you have like a license <laughs> key or some shit. Yeah. Because it was like, it was tracking the kids and like how good they were at math it's so a dangerous statement exactly tracking the kids. if your math wasn't completed on the game and your license didn't have the complete on it they knew they kidnapped you and like it got to the point i think after the third year where i was like i don't want to do it anymore i'm like fuck this it's the same thing every year i don't want to do it and i remember they're at your they, door like they were like are you doing math dude and i remember they came <laughs> up to me and they were like hey you still haven't done your math yet and I'm like, how did you fucking... And it was because of the license numbers. I swear to God. Wait, who came up to you? The teacher. Because oh, the teacher okay. distributes right. this fucking propaganda math. Woo! To us. And then I'm at home not wanting to do it because I've done it four years in a row and they haven't updated the math. Not like math really changes. But you got to give me some patch notes on this game, you know? <laughs> at least let me do a knowledge or so like a fucking, you know? The way you made it sound like... like like a, a trail of black suburbans pulled up to your house. Like, yeah, are no. you doing the fucking math, kid? Listen, you know, it might have. I might have repressed you. We don't know. But it was math bad. is new now. <laughs> Do it. Learn it. But, Be uh, it. I, I got to play that on stream at some point. But we, we played back air baseball 2003 and uh, it was fun. I still got to figure out the batting because I don't understand where you got to click the ball with the cursor. Mm hmm. 
because two people told me two different things in chat the night we played. We're like, use the butt of the bat or use the actual part where the ball hits. And then I was like in the middle of the two and it wasn't working, but then I'd be on one and it would work and then it wouldn't work. And then it's weird to say the least. But then we also played basketball and that shit was so fucking fun. I was (laughs) draining threes like it was my job, dude. And I had, you know, the, the, like the, the, what's his name? Like the country boy from backyard baseball. He had like the, the teeth and he had like the football head and little brown hair. I think so. I wasn't would, a big country. You walk around like this, like, hey guys, how you doing? See, I, I played those backyard games, yeah. but not to the extent that you did. So I don't really remember them like Dude, that. Dude, those kids, they're, they're, it's, it's such a good game, man. The designs are so good. I forgot that they did voice acting for it as well. Mm-hmm. Like every single kid, when they go up to the plate, they'll say some shit. Especially my boy, Pablo Sanchez. Pablo Baby Sanchez. <laughs> Adios that, baseball. That was a funny part of the stream. We need to make a t-shirt that just says Adios Baseball. <laughs> you might have to do that'd be funny. Yeah, dude. And then on the back it just says Pablo Sanchez number one or some shit. He was You might have one. to just make like one of those t-shirt jerseys. I might have a jer- have, Yo, it's, dude a coach the number Kingly the- shirt. In the back she just says Sanchez. I'm gonna make a Coach Kingly shirt, yo. Oh, that's pretty man. good. We're gonna we're gonna backyard sports this up, Baseball. but um, we're gonna play a bunch of them I think on stream, and I'm gonna do a season for every single one. I just want to coach these kids. Maybe I'll get into these character. Kids, these ki- I'll get like a pair of super short shorts and like show my <laughs> thighs that are super pale on stream. A visor hat that you wear for golfing yeah. for some reason. A whistle, even though that's not in eighty percent of the sports that I own. You had those dad shades on. Dude, the fucking like yeah. the rectangular ones, the Oakleys. <laughs> yeah, those ones. <laughs> yeah, you go. I was fucking up. <laughs> you need to find one of those fucking d- Foot Locker shirts with the little stripes going down <laughs> the shirts. <laughs> I used to work at Foot Locker. That's where I got my ump uniform from. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but don't get it twisted. Kids, don't get it twisted. Fall you. in line. I know what I'm talking about. I don't know about. what you're talking about, little Timmy. That was a fucking strike, you. You don't get Pizza Hut at the end of the season if I don't see some home runs. Do you all doing your math homework? <laughs> don't make me get the, the guys to come don't down. Don't get the little monkey guys to come <laughs> and kick flip at your door and say, whoa. But uh, yeah, man, that's what I've been gaming. And then Animal Well's been fun, but I'm not good at it. it I'm not good at games like that. I'll give my Animal Well review yeah. next week or my or my recap. Of Let's put it there. this way. I died four times before I found the second checkpoint. I had not played it to know if that's yeah. like a normal Once you thing. realize how bad that is, you're going to play it this weekend. You're going to be like, damn, he's bad at these games. We'll Immediately. See. We'll see. We'll see. I fucking suck. But yeah, that's what I've been playing this week. I think that's solid. <clears throat> Taxes. Don't you hate them? Yeah. Who needs them? Who needs them? Uncle Scam. Uh, Let's get to the news. (laughs) Welcome to the news. Yes, we are here with the news. News you can use. Brought to you by AFK Journey. This episode of Save Before Quitting is sponsored by AFK Journey. AFK Journey is a strategy RPG set in Asperia, a picturesque fantasy realm where players embark on an epic quest alongside companions to banish the miasma and forge their own legends. Explore Asperia freely. Embark on your own legendary adventure in this magical world with picture-like graphics. Find mysterious treasures and experience the seasons while exploring Asperia. Fight battles in real time with classic strategic card gameplay and decimate your enemies with your ultimate. And it'll never get boring. The situation keeps changing in battle. Chosen one, you'll need to adjust your formation according to the terrain and use the combat mechanisms wisely to defeat your powerful enemies. When you're tired, take a break and relax around the campfire. The adventure continues even while you're resting. Wake up and collect lots of loot. Use our link download afk journey let your journey get started even when you're afk 
you want to get a head start in your journey, you can use our promo code AFKJN2024 and get 188 diamonds and 18,888 gold. It's a lot of damn gold. And before you start your journey, make sure to always save before quitting. Back to the show. Uh, our first news story. A uh, sad one, which seems to be a consistent thing in every single news section. Uh, but Xbox made a terrible decision this past month that kind of came out of nowhere, but at the same time is also a not shocking thing, if right. that makes sense. Um uh, Microsoft closed Redfall developer Arcane Austin, Hi-Fi Rush developer Tango Gameworks, and more with devastating cuts at Bethesda. Thank you for that header, IGN. We appreciate you and your reporting. <coughs> but um, yeah, man. Tango, Alpha Dog, Arcane, and Roundhouse Games. That's insane. Um, the biggest one being, I think the biggest shock has to be the people behind Hi-Fi Rush. Tango. Tango for sure. Uh, the other ones, no offense to Arcane Austin, but Redfall for sure was a flop. I can kind of understand yeah. that company. Not to say that, you know, they deserve to be yeah. laid off without That one just warning. makes sense. I like, could just we see. Can understand. If they would have just came out and said, Microsoft parts ways with mm-hmm. Arcane. I'd be like, you know, it sucks, but I get it. It's just weird, too, because it's not even like they're parting ways. They're just shutting them down, which is weird. Right. Because, like, they acquired all these studios to, like, make these games and shit. Obviously, some went way better than others. Right. But, like, the fact that they just shut them down instead of releasing them is pretty weird to me. There's something going on. I mean, we could speculate forever, but... There's something to be said that I feel like gaming as a whole is not making the money it once did. Not at the same clip anyway. Don't get me wrong. Gaming is still a billion dollar business. But I think they're coming from specific places. The money is coming from specific things. Mm-hmm. Um, this, this Let's right for the moment focus on Microsoft. I think... <clears throat> They're, you've said it forever. Xbox ain't got games. Xbox, I tried to it defend you. It was technically you. Chad Warden first. I don't want to steal Yeah, but that. when he said it. He was right then, too. Was that, when was that? That was back in, like, 2010, man. Was that, three? that wasn't 360 time. It was, was 360 time. time cause no offense. 360 I'm time say Xbox had games. All they had is Halo and Gears. That's, that's it. That's not, yo, Xbox. That's it. I, I'll put it like, that's the last time Xbox had a fighting game chance they were in the ring like, yeah they were at least there but all they had was halo and gears and what have they done to both of those franchises they've thrown them into the dirt and then not only thrown them into the dirt buried them into the ground and drove them into the soil to feed the trees of they tried Arcane they tried halo and tango but then they <laughs> shut those down too but halo's not shut down it's awful though Halo Infinite is awful. It was promised to have co-op campaign. That was never delivered. The online was never any good. It just became a microtransaction hell to get cat ears on your fucking chief. Who doesn't want that, though? You know, I did, and I got him. But it was a fucking struggle <laughs> to do it. And it was a fucking bad time. All right. Look, okay. Xbox now definitely don't got games. They don't have anything. They're shit. They have like, Game Pass. I think... They thought Starfield would make a bigger splash than it did. It made a splash. I think the toilet. their their main goal was to have everyone convert to Game Pass. Yeah. They became, by Game Pass, this is where our revenue is going to come from. I feel like what happened, in order for that, to, that plan to work, you would need to sell Xboxes. <laughs> In order to sell Xboxes, you would need these games to do to make an impression on people to buy the system. Obviously, they have PC Game Pass, of course, but yeah. PC Game Pass isn't fleshed out in the same way that console Game Pass is. Mm-hmm. And I feel like unless they make some ridiculously major changes, which I think they're trying to do, but it's almost like too late. Yeah. 
Um, I also don't understand the changes that they're making. If that makes like, no, no, I, I, I don't agree with the changes. Doesn't make sense in the grand scheme of like they need to fix something. Mm-hmm. Like it, it kind of reminds me. I think it was maybe three or four weeks back uh, in the esports leagues. Uh, you know the team Phase. Yes. Do you know who Phase Banks is? No. He's like the CEO that like started Phase pretty much back mm-hmm. when it was just like 360 no scopes and shit, mm-hmm. and like before it was like an esports org. But uh, pretty much he sold the company to a corporation. They started signing a bunch of people. Blah blah. blah. They have a bunch of esport athletes. Yada yada. He took the company back over in the past couple weeks. He laid off almost every single person that was acquired during the corporate era and then tweeted, control alt delete. That's insensitive. Very much so. Yeah. So he did that. Tons of creators losing their jobs, pretty much any sort of financial backing from FaZe, just gone. Mm-hmm. There was one person who, uh, I forget what her name is, but she's like a very like big like she promotes phase and she said she didn't get a cent from them but she was signed with them they didn't help her at all but she was like super supportive and like buying her own merch for phase and shit so it reminds me a lot of this where i'm seeing all of these if you want to look at these studios as like creators or athletes or esport athletes like these are investments and you can see where the investments are going well Mm -hmm. why would you get rid of all of them it doesn't make sense financially to get rid of all investments and to start cold turkey almost, even though it's not that, you know, but like there's no reason to shut these studios <clears throat> down. It's I, insane. I think. Well, if we want to talk about studios specifically, Tango for me made no sense. We were talking about how that game needed a sequel for four or five months after it was released. And then it went to PlayStation. We're like, holy shit, it's definitely going to happen. And then the next week, it got fucking canned. I think... It was literally the week after we recorded. You're right. You're right. Like, that's the I, crazy part. And I recently heard, internally, they were pushing for a sequel. <sighs> Tango themselves was pushing for a sequel. For justified reasons. Um, I think that would have worked out so well. Because mm-hmm. they would have expanded that game in a way where it would have been AAA status. Mm-hmm. Not just the, I don't know what you would consider this. Not like a B game that got shadow dropped. It could have been a mascot was game. was surprisingly for great. That character could have been, like, they could have rebranded, made that character the Xbox mascot, yeah. and went off to the races from there. For sure. Even <clears> if it wasn't him specifically, like, there's the little robot cat that's in the game. There's a bunch of different boss designs. And the ironic part is that the game itself mm-hmm. is about corporate companies and the, all the boss fights are like corpo like yeah. pieces of shits that mm-hmm. you're taking down because they're trying to take down like quality music. That's the whole mm-hmm. like story of the game. I love this. And story. then a corporate fucking company shuts down the one company that made the good music. Yeah. Like the fucking irony of that is insane. I'm curious. Because if this is, if they just shut them down for good and there's no rectifying anything, Mm -hmm. I hope they didn't sell that IP to Xbox. I hope not. It could also be Xbox Xbox doesn't own the IP. IP. Huh? It could just be an Xbox IP that Tango did. I don't know. We don't know those details. But with the way that turned out, I would, like, not to say nobody could do it, but I don't want anybody else to make it. Yeah. That game. That's I don't Tango. think we're getting a second one, sadly. Yeah. Tango being gone, even if like all the devs came together and did it themselves and made like an indie project, I don't think that they'd be allowed to use Hi-Fi Rush's characters, which is insane because they did it so much justice. Mm-hmm. Um, talking a little bit about the other guys that, no offense, didn't make as big of a splash in their games like Arcane Austin, it's still wild to shut down an entire company even though the game quote-unquote failed like starfield if you want to break it down to brass tacks failed yes it did it was supposed to be the next big thing the next fallout and it was supposed to have this like insane following that was consistent and constantly talked about it was supposed to be big right and here's the thing people like it people still play it it's fine but it's not what they thought it was going to be. It was supposed to sell Xboxes. Exactly. And That's why they didn't. put it out around when they put it out, around the um, holiday season. So what in 
whatever fucking higher ups mind are they thinking when they see that and then they see the fucking success of high vi rush and they're like you know what bethesda is the right one to keep on no offense to bethesda obviously they're like merged now with xbox yeah. but like bethesda sucks man the only reason they're getting any recognition right now is because of the television show that made the games better and you know once that the um praise for that television show came out they were probably at them about when is the next fallout game because now yeah. they want to double down but i and and xbox is from what their the communications have been they want to um reposition themselves re-strategize how they release things um and one of the things they said was we want to not only make aim for like our heavy hitter games Mm -hmm. but also smaller games that people can attach themselves to and that got them so much criticism because they were like smaller games that people attach themselves to like hi-fi rush (laughs) you just got rid of that studio yeah Needless to say, I think that Xbox doesn't know what they're doing right now. Um, so the same thing is with Sony, with uh, the Helldiver stuff that went on. If you missed that out, that we kind of missed that in the <clears throat> period of time where we were busy in April. But <laughs> that was another situation where, uh, to break it down into layman's terms, Sony pretty much made it so you needed to have a PlayStation account in order to play the game Helldivers 2 which was never really a thing that was stressed on because mm-hmm. you could buy it on Steam and play it anywhere in the world. Right. And the reason why that's such a big deal is that in multiple countries, and by multiple I mean like almost like 30 plus, you cannot make a PlayStation account. Right. And people from those countries have Helldivers, but now they're now no they can't play it. allowed to play it. Right. So people went on Steam and review bombed the fuck out of the game, making it so bad badly reviewed that sony had the back walk and you know i did notice they, they reversed it great um i don't know if they've actually set up the situation where they have allowed players in those countries that did have the game that had to <coughs> get the return i don't know what's happened with those players personally but hopefully they're back and hopefully. you know spreading democracy like we need to my favorite <laughs> part about that is everyone was joking we did a major order in real life it's crazy <laughs> they but did, like though. It's true, and it's mm-hmm. it's funny to see because it's like no offense to like big corpo companies, but like they don't know what the fuck they're doing. They don't understand where the money's actually coming in from. They just see the numbers, but they're they're stupid. Like you, all you have to do is go on like Instagram for five minutes to understand what is popular in gaming. Yeah. That's the crazy part. Like all you need is one dude in a boardroom <coughs> to be like, hey guys. Uh, Red Vault didn't do great. People aren't really talking about it. Maybe we move Arcane to do something else or put them on the Tango team to work on Hi-Fi Rush 2. Something. Yeah. Like, move people around. Obviously, you might need to lay off some people because, you know, you lost a lot of money making the game, but that doesn't mean entirely shut the fucking studio down. You know? It's... It's weird. It's just a weird choice. It is. And I think... Because what do they do? Like, what do they double down on? Like, of course, they're going to probably make another Gears and Forza, yada, 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 yada. But it's just like, people aren't really clamoring to that either. I think the game, the industry as a whole is changing in a way that the the pillars, like Xbox, something like they're not, they don't know how to kind of acclimate to it. Mm-hmm. Because, and even some third party companies like Square came out and said, Final Fantasy 16 performed underwhelmingly to the standard that they wanted. Mm-hmm. Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth performed underwhelmingly to the standards that they wanted. And they said Foam Stars. I could have called that Obviously. one. But they also said that performed. Those three. Was, wasn't that free, though? <laughs> Listen, I don't know. Foam Stars was free. <laughs> Would you expect people to buy a battle pass for a jizz game? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I don't want to buy the the jizz battle pass. Yeah, I'm the, good. The, the jizzle pass. Um, the jizzle pass. That's great. That's the podcast the title. Jizzle pass. Um, they. It's it's looking crazy in the industry because while Xbox is the highlight and mm-hmm. and as they should be with these weird moves that they're making, um, it's happening across the board. Yeah. On like like maybe smaller scales, but it's happening. Third party companies and first party companies. Um, the only company who seems just like quiet and killing shit was like Nintendo, but that's because they just run their own race. 
Yeah. They just do their own thing. Nintendo doesn't have to do anything different, which is the crazy part. Do we want to d- use this as our excuse to move on to Nintendo since Xbox is so bad? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Nintendo um, Switch 2. Details came out about details. Nintendo Switch 2. Um, they're starting to slowly leak out from uh, manufacturers who have um, who are working on um, things for the console. Um, but on top of that, the president. Let me the get to president. it real quick. Obama. Good <laughs> Obama. Um, damn, where is it? Here it is. President of the Ni- Ni- uh, president of Nintendo went to Twitter to say. This is Furikawa, president of Nintendo. That's the first one. Awesome way to just start a tweet. Everybody, shut it's the me, fuck up. The it, president. Is me. it is the president of Nintendo. <clears throat> we will make an announcement about the successor to Nintendo Switch within this fiscal year. It will have been over nine years since we announced the existence of Nintendo Switch back in March 2015. We will be holding a Nintendo Direct. Sorry, hold on. The tweet cut off on my on the Discord right there. We will be holding a Nintendo Direct this June regarding the Nintendo Switch software lineup for the latter half of 2024. But please be aware that there will be no mention of the Nintendo Switch successor during that presentation. So, I guess they're trying to not make everybody freak the fuck out when yeah. Summer Game Fest is going on. They do the Nintendo Direct and no mention of the Switch is there. So they're, they've taken the socials to let you know it is coming. We are working on it. And from further, I've read that it'll be announced within the fiscal year. So it'll if they're smart, they'll just have it be announced sometime in before the summer is out. Yeah. And it's supposed to be released by like next spring, March, April. So because you're going to have to at least announce it and show something of it before mm-hmm. the holiday season, at least. Just to have people gear up for it. Get or it pre-orders be, in. It could be out this holiday season if they rush it. What if they're lying to us? What if he's like, hey, we're not going to show it on that direct. And then that direct is like, oh yeah, one more thing. And they crazy. show it. Because like, <clears throat> you got to subvert expectations by tweeting that. I get it. Because people want to see the new new. Mm-hmm. But we're not going to get it anytime soon. But what happens if they just put their ass in gear? And they get it going for Summer Games Fest. And they have it in time for that date. (coughs) Bless. Bless. Excuse me. Then it's going to be fucking insane. Because we were told that there was nothing. And then here's something. Oh, damn. What if we get it before the Direct? That would be better, in my opinion. Because then they can show off games for it. That's what I'm thinking. Summer Games Fest, and obviously... I don't think Nintendo is going to be sending too much to Mr. Keeley to show on the show, but um, never know. There might be a few things here and there, but the Nintendo Switch is coming to the end of its lifespan. I would assume they, they sent up the Keeley before. No, but that was for the Game Awards. Yeah, that, that wasn't was for big Summer Games deal Fest. stuff. Yeah. I think Summer Games Fest, like they might send like a game or two, like maybe like a game on the level of like Mario and Rabbids. Mm -hmm. Where it's like kind of a big deal, but not really. Right. But at the same time, it's Summer Games Fest. Maybe they have something for the next console that they want to show off. You never know. Just something simple to be like, hey, we're not going to tell you what the console is, but here's a game coming to it. Mm -hmm. And it's just pre like rendered bullshit. I mean, they showed us the fucking Sonic thing that was uh, the Fall Guys, whatever. Oh, yeah. And the entire trailer for that was lagging, which is insane. That they fucking put a trailer for a game in a showcase that was lagging. Y'all gotta stop doing my boy like that. <laughs> it, it's just dumb. Like I, it's one of those things where it's like we understand that the Switch can't do. That's these on Switch. I didn't know what that was on. I mean, it's got to be on Switch, right? Because it, it was lagging while they were playing it. I don't know. Maybe it's mobile. If it's mobile, that's a different story. But like, you can't show a game for the first time and be like, "Here's a game." And it's lagging. And it's lagging in the trailer, which is a thing that you could have just done a teaser trailer that's just, like, really nice animation, and then it's a MOBA later. Yeah. You know, like, take take a cue from some of the MOBAs, go do a Raid Shadow Legends, yeah. and make it beautifully <laughs> animated, and the gameplay is... Eh. For it to lag in the promo is kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, But, you know, I think with Switch 2, or whatever they're going to call it... The Super Nintendo Switch. You it's called it a while ago, and that. now everyone's copying you. It's gotta be that. It has to be yeah. Super Nintendo Switch. Um, 
I think, I don't know. Nintendo's the biggest mystery, and I think that's their strength. Mm-hmm. Because as far as, like you said, they're going to announce things coming, coming, things coming out later this year. Yeah. When the Switch there's, is dying. Yeah. Much. There's, and I'd be down for just, if the, if the Switch is dying, then just give me like more remakes and shit. Yeah. People won't be mad at that. But there's no information and no hint as to what Nintendo is doing post May. Mm-hmm. There's just none. Usually get something. You have an idea or something was announced previously that's going to come out later for the holiday season. There's no info. Yeah. Which makes me excited as a Nintendo fan. It's like, okay, well, even if it's not Switch 2 stuff, what's the last hurrah for Switch going to be? Um, I'm interested in that. I would love for them to start going into what the launch Switch 2 stuff is going to be. That's, But Maybe I feel nice. like that's going to be... a. Um, that's game awards thing. thing yeah for like sure. that End or at least year. even if it's not on the game awards like that time holiday season sure. is when they're going to be like here's what we got coming for next, next year thing yeah. whatever it is there's also a part of me that's like what if it's not even a switch like it's not the switch model at all because if you think about most of nintendo's history they've never really done a direct home console sequel it's always been handhelds that have gotten the sequels and while a switch is a sequel I mean, it was well, Super Nintendo not, was a Switch, sequel. Set, was sort of, Nintendo to Super Nintendo, I guess. But like, that's like so far ago, you know. No, no, I get it. it. I feel like that one's more like it just gave you an extra couple buttons, right? What Nintendo yeah, Super, Super Nintendo? Nintendo? Yeah, it just gave, it you, gave like, you two extra buttons. It was up, graphics were dramatically improved. It was yeah. double the like. It was like double you double the buttons and double the graphics. Exactly. Yeah, that's all it was. <laughs> That's what they gotta do. They gotta give you four Joy Cons for the Nintendo Switch Two. I feel like sometimes that's all you really what. Like at this point, there's nothing like PlayStation Five. What it's it's just PlayStation Four, but more. Like it's like yeah. what else can they really give you? It's just like, interesting to see Nintendo do it. It could be something new entirely. That could be an entire. I don't think so because the leaks from the retailers, not retailers, the people who are working on things for that Switch, mm-hmm. um, the developers, I guess, they're saying it's like another Switch. It's a successor. It's okay. a. Di- I think that's why he called it the successor to the Switch. All right. He didn't just well, say the next it, Nintendo the next console. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. We'll wait and see though, but I think Super Nintendo Switch is probably what they're gonna do. For sure. If they do that, y'all are, y'all are not going to hear the end of it. From well, me. I mean, <laughs> what else could they call it? Like, calling it the Switch 2 is stupid. And since it's Nintendo, if they did do that, it would be like T-O-O or some yeah, shit. Yeah, that would be very not Nintendo. Like, unless they did T-O-O yeah. or something like that. And there would be no reason for the T-O-O. It's like the Wii U. Like, that was not needed. That wasn't. That was shit. That's one of the worst named consoles yeah. ever. The crazy part is, like, wasn't that actually, like... That was also a successor, technically, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a successor. Hmm. I forgot about that one, too. But that one needs to be forgotten about, I think. It wasn't their shining, yeah. one of their best moments. It was really dumb. But, moving on. Speaking of Nintendo and Nintendo Switch, you made a purchase of something that will be I coming did. soon. You're going to have to make some sort of unboxing, you know this. I'm, I'm going to... If you don't think I'm going to be flexing my yeah. skills on on streaming that. Yeah, I do like a whole unboxing <clears throat> video on stream too. Like like do like the what's the review bra thing like where you like unbox each thing like this was this. Look at this. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know exactly. Mm-hmm. Make about. a nice little YouTube video out of it. And then we'll make YouTube video out of the games itself. So then we get double the content. Mad content for days. Spitting and shit. Same. <laughs> but Nintendo World Championships NES Edition was announced. Um, Test your speedrunning skills in over 150 challenges across 13 different NES games. Aim for the best time in speedrun mode, compete for a spot on the global online leaderboards in World Championship mode, or gather up to eight players in local party mode. Games featured in Nintendo World Championships are Balloon Fight, Donkey Kong, Excite Bike, Ice Climber, Kid Icarus, Kirby's Adventure, Metroid, Super Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers 2, Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario Brothers The Lost Levels, The Legend of Zelda, and Zelda 2, The Adventures of Link. It's pretty good. I'm, I'm 
Oh man, I might just I might stream that shit for a week. I will sit down for five days. The and cartridge play. is cool. The gold cartridge. I had the gold Zelda cartridge back in the day. I've seen it a bunch. <clears throat> isn't it like that one isn't rare? Like the gold cartridge isn't rare, but the normal gray version of that game. Yeah, because the like, the normal cartridge for that one was gold. Yeah, and then like the gray version was like the store copy or some shit. Yeah, though, I think like, I don't like, think the I've, demo or whatever. I don't think I've ever even seen that in person before. I saw it on like a toy hunt video way back in the day, but I don't know enough about it. But I never even played those games. I never, I've never put one of those games into a console in my life. That makes sense. Yeah. For you. By the time you were born, we were on Super Nintendo. I've never even seen a Super Nintendo game be put into a thing either. I don't know how you load it. I could show you. You could. <laughs> yeah. I, I've just never seen them. That's the crazy I mean, part. if you look at it, I guess you can kind of see how it works. Is it the one at the top left that has like the PlayStation front thing? It's next to the... It's the top left. The most top yeah, left yeah. one up there. It has like the, the, the old brick that you would use for PlayStation controllers. You know, like the rectangle to plug in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like that. That's what I reckon. Yeah. I've never seen it. The game's in it before, so... They could be discs for all I know. Nah, cartridge. Yeah, what if Nintendo Switch 2 was discs? Like How fucking crazy discs would that be? Discs like, like legit CD discs. ROMs? Yeah, like like PlayStation discs. Can you imagine that? I know it's not, but that I would be like why? Like for like going into a handheld thing? I mean they could do like the PSP thing where it was like a smaller disc. And then they would sell a shit ton of binders where you could put those little discs inside of that were like Pokemon themed and stuff. You you know that would be a thing. I don't think they'd do it only because when the GameCube was out and they had their own little proprietary discs, those mini discs yeah, yeah, you put yeah. into it, third party publishers were pissed because they had to develop for those. That'd be kind of fun, though. They should do it again. Not to say that Nintendo off. gives a fuck. Yeah, they're gonna they're like, we do what yeah. we want. Do it. Hell yeah. Uh, what do we got up next after Nintendo? Oh, yeah. Assassin's Creed Shadows, the next game in the series. Uh, we got a little world premiere trailer today, Mm -hmm. uh, on the day of recording. It looks fucking cool. It does look very good. It's very good. Did they show gameplay? Because I don't think I saw gameplay. No, they didn't. It was just cinematic. Yeah. So it could just be another cookie cutter Assassin's Creed game. (laughs) But they're saying it's, um, it's not as blown out as like Odyssey was. It's a smaller map. Yeah. Uh, it's more like approachable in that way. Oh, like is what that. I'm reading. Um, I need a game that puts me on tracks again. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like open worlds are fun and all, but like I just need you to be like, just follow this tunnel that again. we have pre-built for you that you're just gonna make your way through. <laughs> we talked you know? about the heavy lifting, and honestly, if games went back to that for a little bit, I'd be like, thank you. Yeah, thank you. It's God. been a lot. <laughs> That's why I like Sifu a lot. I picked that back up recently. Not recently, like two months ago. And played it through, and I was like, this is just simple fun, because all it is, you're just beating the fuck out of people. Yeah. And doing it in different ways. Sometimes that's all that's you need. It. That's all you need. But, <clears throat> yeah. Did you see the uproar on Twitter now with horrible people being pissed off that there's a black samurai? You're joking. No, I wish I was. Why? What was the one that took place in, uh, what was it, Egypt? Maybe. I think that was Odyssey, wasn't it? Was that Odyssey? Yeah. Maybe. I didn't play that one. I only played Valhalla, which we were the Viking. People were saying, this is how you know people are terrible. People in the comments were like, if you, they, they made one like with black people already. Go play that one. It was just like, wow. You know, you put that publicly on the internet just now. Dude, digital footprints are just a thing of the past (laughs) that people don't care about anymore. Like that's. And because then people started posting like. Um, Neo, where it had the, the blonde haired, blue eyed guy as the samurai. They're like, but this was fine? Yeah. Like, so it, people are online being terrible as they usually do. I feel like it looks so cool though. Like, why I would don't you... think, who cares? It's not even a who cares. It, like, it's kind of cool. Like, isn't yeah. it cool? Because he's got to wear the mask to like hide that he's a black man because yeah. that's like the, the big deal about I think that's the it. point. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Why is that about. Oh, man. It's a story element besides the fact that it's just representation. People are yeah. so stupid. I don't, I'm sorry. That makes me mad. I didn't realize that was happening. Of course it is, obviously. And people are like, they shouldn't do that. Uh, um, um, 
what's this game called? Um, Assassin's, Creed. Assassin's Creed, blah, 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 blah. And then somebody under that really <laughs> commented was like, uh, yeah, because Assassin's Creed has been all about historical accuracy yeah, in right. all these games, right? It literally changes history <laughs> so that they can add in funny assassin guys that cut off their fingers. Exactly. Somebody, in case somebody under that was like, thank you. That's the point. Yeah. <laughs> The bad guys are called <laughs> Templars. That's goofy, dude. <laughs> People are thinking too hard and just want. It's not even thinking this. hard. They're just idiots. <laughs> they're, they're not even thinking. They're just being hateful. I, I think the the dual like main character thing. That's cool which, too. Like it's awesome. Like this is a great looking Assassin's Creed game. Uh, we need to see gameplay. We do. Here's, we here's do. The thing. On the surface. On the surface, the story and the idea behind it is really fucking cool. I like it a lot. Even the story trailer bits that we saw where it looked like he was like, you know, a prisoner or something. And then he took on the mantle of the the dude who was the samurai in the beginning. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was a legitimate like samurai at the front. Like, oh yeah, look at me, I'm a samurai. And mm-hmm. then he was a prisoner. Yeah. And then now he's in the outfit. So something happens. Right, right, so right. So where right, that right. you make your way in to lead this army. And they do the reveal because they take yeah. off the thing. And, and, and the scene in the street when he, like, the little girl, like, stops and, like, looks at him and he's yeah. got to put it on to, like, hide. Yeah. Like, that's so good. It's that so makes the cool. story more interesting to me. Like, I, I don't know. People are dumb. This looks like a decent Assassin's Creed. Hopefully, we both buy it and I get a sound system this time. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm sitting here like, oh, all I got was Assassin's Creed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, you know. Yeah. If you know. That's a lo- that's a deep cut. As it of is. It's like a two years almost. It's a super point. deep. More Jeez. than is it? Might be more than that. I think it's like two. Maybe is yeah, two and a half years. Because Valhalla came out two plus years ago. That's crazy. Time is what is time? A construct. Exactly. Speaking of constructs, HBO Max. <laughs> Great segue. Pedro Pascal, the motherfucker. Who we all the love, motherfucker uh, posted a picture, uh, two pictures to be in, to be specific, uh, on Instagram of him as Joel in season two of The Last of Us coming soon in 2025. Uh, feel like if you know, you know. Not to spoil anything, but uh, there was a part of me that saw this uh, Joel haircut and I was like, you know what? Maybe that's what I do. I, I could fucking rock that. Probably. You could you could pull that off. I think I could pull that off. Yeah, you could do that. So maybe that's a thing for next episode. We'll see what happens. <laughs> but uh, I'm excited for this season and also yeah. terrified. But I, here's the thing, man. Slight spoilers. If they're going to do this, they need to fucking do it. Like, I need this to look messed up. You know what I mean? Like, like what? Like, I, you know how, like, in the game where, like, Ellie's, like, looking at him and he's, like, on the ground? Yeah. And he, oh, he's, like, yeah, that. pulp, practically? Yeah. We need to see that. Like, to the level of, like, if you remember The Walking Dead when uh, the character Negan showed up with the Mm -hmm. baseball bat, and there was that episode where uh, he whacked the two people. It was, like, one that was from the comics and, like, canon and lore, but then they did the other guy, too, Mm -hmm. to be like, ooh, shock value. Right. Like, I need something on that level of, like, disturbing looking because it needs to hit, you know? Do you... (laughs) I, I almost forgot because we've been we've been apart from Last of Us Two for so long now that mm-hmm. it's just like that he if you don't know this by now that he dies in that mm-hmm. so like dude do you really think they I guess they have to do it they got it but I just need them to do it right like do I they need kill it to look him off because it's it is third Pedro episode. Pascal it's like, gonna be third episode I'm calling because the first episode is going to be kind of slow. Maybe with, like, a tease at a zombie or two. Second episode is going to be them going out and looking for uh, Dina and what's-his-face in the yeah, snow. Yeah. And then third episode, I think, is the episode where we finally see, like, Abby's story from the beginning. Like, we get glimpses of it, and that's mm-hmm. where we start to see Abby, like, looking over the camp of where Ellie is and stuff. Then fourth episode, kablam. I'll, that was my next question. Do they drag it out yeah. to have Pedro Pedro for like most of the season? I think half the season. I think it's going to be eight episodes season, if I'm mm. guessing right now. Fourth episode is where it happens. Maybe a mid-season break as well because they could do that. So take like a week or two like, and don't post an episode. Mm. So people just have to sit with it. 
and then come back for the fifth episode for like the the comeback kind of like how x-men did a certain thing this season with a certain character like and then there was that episode in between where it was just like what the fuck? Like a what if like, episode, kind of almost yeah, damn near. Like like a side story. Like we need the fucking. We need to know what happened there. Go back to that. I want that. I really was saying that to the screen. Like no, like this yeah. is cool, but that's when I got sad because I started watching it when that episode came out. Mm. When it happened at the end, I was like Monami, and shit happens. <sighs> I was like, oh wait, I have to wait another week for an episode now because I finally binged it. Oh no! And then when the next week came and I saw yeah, it was that, it I was like. This is why I wait until the full season comes out. I do this to myself every time. If but you it's haven't, so good. go watch X Men '97, so please. So I'm gonna watch the finale tonight, probably. Same. Like, both of us. But yeah, man, Last of Us season two coming soon next year. Can't wait. Yeah. Can't wait. And we got one more story. Another video game adaptation making its way to the screen. Amazon Prime Video has greenlit a Tomb Raider adaption from Fleabag creator Phoebe Waller-Bridge. So, Tomb Raider's next up. What was the last? Fallout was the last thing. Yeah. Tomb Raider is up next. Who do you cast as Lara Croft? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, nobody even sprung to mind, mm-hmm. honestly. I feel like... I mean, you don't have to, but... You just go with like an up and coming actress. True. I'm, I don't even know like who I would think would be a good option because you know like if this was ten years ago, it's like oh yeah, Angelina Jolie. But that, of course. but she out of the picture. She's done. Maybe she makes a for cameo that. as like the person that sets up the mission. For That'd Lara be cool. Croft. That'd be neat. I'd like a little homage. I'd like that. Wait, wasn't there? But there was another Tomb Raider movie that came out. Didn't it fail after- though? It did, but... Who was in it? I don't know. <laughs> exactly. No offense to that lady, but uh, sorry. Uh, who's like a very popular female actress right now who could take on... Fucking... What's her name? I want to say how do I identify her, but it would not be a... Uh... I thought you were going to say Zendaya for a second. <laughs> no, she can't be Laura Croft. Not, no, no offense to Zendaya. I just... Yeah. She doesn't fit that look. Um... Um, 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 who's the, 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 the sweetheart right now? Um, it's her name. She was on Saturday Night Live. Um, she was on Euphoria. The blonde? Yes. The one that can fix everyone's lives? Yes. Yeah. I don't want to do that. I'm just saying, who's, you said who's the, who's the, she's the popular girl right now. Yeah, but I don't, Sydney Sweeney. Yes, Sydney Sweeney. I hate that I knew that. Fuck. I'm a problem. Uh, No. (laughs) I refuse. Listen. Uh, what's her name from Jumanji? She's, she's nice to look at. <laughs> Bright, not Bryce Dallas Howard. Uh, the, she plays Nebula in Guardians. Oh, what's her name? She's Australian or British. I don't know. Karen Gillan. That's her name? Yes. I never knew her name. Because she looks like Laura Croft in the Jumanji movies. Just change her hair color. That's her whole... Yeah, gimmick. true. She's already dressed like yeah, her. That's, that's, yeah. She can do it. There's a stunt lady that can do her stunts that looks like her already, as we can see from previous. Yeah. I don't know. Who should be Tomb Raider? That's the question of this episode. Who do you think should play Laura Croft in the upcoming Amazon series? Let us know in the comments. Let us down know, below. for real, because we're, we're lost. Jenny Ortega, the chick who plays Wednesday Adams in the Netflix show. She's very young, though, so I don't know if... Unless they're going for a young Laura Croft. Yeah, it depends on where Millie this is Millie Bobby set. Brown. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, you know what they should actually do? What's her name? And this is a very out of left field uh, answer. I gotta get her name right because I don't know how to say it. Salma Hayek. <laughs> Make Salma her Hayek. Laura Croft. Make her Laura Croft. I'd watch. Salma Hayek, man. She could have been Laura Croft in like... <clears throat> she could have been Laura Croft. Right now. <laughs> she can be Laura... And we're back. Those guys in the newsroom, they they know what they're talking about. Yeah. I'd, uh, A lot of crazy stuff happened this past month. It's for better or for worse, I guess. Yeah. Because it's, it's... It's been a wild 2024 and it's only May. 
which is nuts. It is May. Um, it gonna be well. It is May. That doesn't ring off the tongue the same way. Anyway, oh, don't stop. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, for you, I don't want to do this. You can't start that song. I can't and do not- this bit again. <laughs> you can't. That is like there, it is impossible. To just say a line from that yeah. song. And that's the most cruel joke anybody could do. Was walk in a room and be like, all that I do. And then just leave. Yeah. I'm like, you mother. Because not only do I have it's to sing. It's not enough for you. You did it. Not me. You did it in the room. And then t- kind of, if you think about You're it. You're right. I did. It's one of those things where like, well, now I have to listen to the song. Yeah. I have to listen to it and sing it out loud. Not now, though. Right now, we're ending the show. Uh, as always, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to what we've been playing. Thank you for listening to our sponsor. Please, please support the sponsor. Um, thank you for taking in the news from us, your most up-to-date news in gaming. Um, and with that, I say, save letter B number four, quitting on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube. Don't wanna lose it. This motherfucker is an evil mastermind over here trying to but get me. But I'm not leaving. When finally you can finally check out. you get to me. <laughs> it's May. I, I do. Um, <clears throat> say before quitting all the way spelled out at gmail.com if you would like to send us an email or better yet join the discord join Join our discord link below this video and if you're listening to us on audio it is in the description please join the discord it is a great time uh a lot of laughing in there a lot of uh (laughs) Game news in there. There's a lot of laughing. A lot of like, I mean, who's you gonna know? turn down the, 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 the laughs? There's lots of laughs. Lots you know? of laughs. I um, got signs in my house that say "lots of laughs" and "live, laugh, love" and shit. I know what you're on about. I bet you do. Yeah. Um, you can see on this chart here. Yeah, that chart tells me everything <laughs> I need Caucasian to know. Right <laughs> um, yeah, join the Discord. Um, most up to date news. We talk about everything uh, from gaming to fitness uh to to tv shows movies all your nerdy needs are in there and some non-nerdy needs non-nerdy needs and you can post your fitness updates if you're in the gym like we are right Uh, it's a new sec new channel in there called non-nerdy needs i don't know what would go in there um yeah man but also join the patreon after you're done in the discord two extra episodes a month the ability to tell us what to play and all of that jazz is so fucking cheap. You just get, you get all that stuff for like a couple bucks. You get a, a couple cups of coffees for your boys mm-hmm. and we get to give you our dumb words that yep. we say. Support us on Patreon. Help us pay our taxes at the end of the year. <laughs> that is <laughs> Trust us when we say every cent goes right back into the show. Yes, it does. But we appreciate that as always. So, well, those who you are are who are in the Patreon or have supported us on Twitch, follow us on Twitch, um, on Twitch and everything. Thank you, thank because you. Uncle Sam beat our ass. Not like Uncle Scam, am I right? Right, America. But before you get scammed by Uncle Sam, make sure you always save for quitting. That was weird. It was. That was new. I wasn't ready, but it worked. Like, we did it, though. Yeah. Huh. Do we run it back, or we just end it?